Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to show you a new and different way to walk through text. Now if you've been editing for a while you probably know the old way where you take some text, you uh, put a green screen behind it, uh, save it as a snapshot, delete it off your timeline, bring it back in again, etc, etc, etc. That works just fine. But with Filmora 12 there is a slightly easier way to do it. And here we go. We're going to go use the default title just to make our life easy. Go ahead and bring that up to track number two. And let's change the color a bit. Let's throw some uh, yellow in there. And let's put a, you can't, won't be able to see it right now, but we're going to put a black outline around it. So it looks like it already has one. We'll bring it up a little bit. Okay, now we should be able to see that pretty clearly on the screen. We'll change this text to say, walk through me. And I think we'll go ahead and make it a little bigger. All right, very good. We'll position it in a second. Next, you need some stock media or just go out and video somebody walking. Um, and you'll have to do that on a green screen to get them out. Or you can use the smart AI tools built into Filmora to cut them out of the picture. But for this one, we're going to go ahead and just use some stock. That would be the lady walking. Go ahead and um, we can match it, keep it, whatever you guys want to do. We'll just take the default for now. And we want to bring it down again and put that on track three. This will be obvious why we're doing that in a second. Go ahead and stretch your timeline out a little bit so you can see the beginning and the end. Hide the top track so we can see the text. And let's figure out where we want her legs to come through at. That's not bad, right there on the me. Uh, you can also uh, shrink it down, give it some perspective, maybe uh, line it up with the gate and have her walk through it a little further on. Uh, she's still going to cut through it pretty quick right there. We can... Um, that and let's bring it down a little bit okay so that's quite a bit that's quite a bit of walkthrough so let's go ahead and do that one and uh, let's start with that and if you like what we see go ahead and turn the top track back on now as you can see the top track is over top of the text track so obviously it's going to hide it but that's okay for right now Click on the top track, and we want to create a mask so that we can start to see some of this. But first, let's just figure out where the girl's going to cross through, and we'll set our marker there. So now I'm just going to use the frame by frame until she just touches that letter E on the word me. Right there is where we want to want to be. To make everything easy, let's split all three tracks right there. I've got mine set to use the S key for split. You can also just click this little pair of scissors right here. And now we're right where we want to be. Highlight the top track only. Go over to mask. And uh, we're going to use the rectangle, but you can use a combination of any of these. But we're going to start with the rectangle. And you can already see what's happening here. I'm poking a hole. Poking a hole through the top track to see underneath. What we want to do is mask the E. We want to mask her leg. So let's adjust our mask. You can also do it over here. So let's give it a little angle. And we're going to set our first mask right there. And we don't need to keyframe anything on this one because we're good. Go one frame forward. Okay. I think you see what we're going to do. First, turn on your keyframing. Highlight that mask. Okay, let's make sure we have that order together. Turn on your keyframe. Highlight the mask. Drag it over to cover the little bit of the E there. Okay, now you can use multiple masks if you need to cut if you need to cut into that, or you can use a circle, which might work better. Maybe you can take the heart and invert it, part of the star. Uh, and ultimately, you can 
uh, just draw the mask. We're just going to continue with this one. And don't forget, she's going to walk very fast. So that little bit is probably not even going to be seen. I like it. Move on to the next frame. Keyframe it. Select it. We're bringing the E, her leg, in front of the E to make it look like she's about to walk through this. Anyway, you get the idea. Frame, keyframe, mask, adjust. Frame forward, keyframe, mask adjust. Now, I do want to let you know right now before we go any further that you will probably have to go back and readjust these several times to get it just the way you want it. This is, I'm going to call this the preliminary keyframe. Move forward, keyframe, select the mask. If at any point in time you have trouble selecting the mask and you keep selecting any, everything else, you can lock these two tracks and it will help you uh, to select the mask easier. Okay, so we want to take a quick peek very slowly and see how we're doing. Uh, I'm going to show you how to fix this first part too. We're just getting right to the masking. So we're in front. Okay, we got to start right there with a new one. And you can also drag this out so you can see what we're doing frame by frame. Back it up a frame, forward a frame, keyframe, select the mask. We're going to have to angle and stretch it out a little bit now. It's getting bigger. It's pretty good. And rinse and repeat, I like to say. Rinse and repeat. Continue my rinse and repeat method here. And sooner or later, she'll be stepped through. Okay, so part of the... It's really not moving forward very much. Part of the E is starting to show through. Let me move the mask a little bit so you can see. So has she stepped all the way through it or not? That would be the question. Has she stepped through or has she not stepped through? At any point, we can start letting it show that she stepped through it. At any point, we can do that. But let's back it up and go step by step in front, in front, in front, in front, in front, in front, in front. So I'm going to say she steps through when that leg moves forward. This text should be visible. And let's check the right leg. So yeah, the right leg is already gone through. Right there. And that's where everything should be visible. So that E needs to be showing. And that's what I was trying to determine. So let's uh, make sure our keyframe is on. And we'll, we want to we wanna bring this back a hair because we want to start seeing the E now. So let's make some fine adjustments. And I do believe this is going to take a second mask because we got to get one going that direction. I can't quite cover everything. Yeah, let me turn it a little bit. That's mighty close, mighty close. Let's continue. Steps forward. The keyframe. Grab that mask. Take out a little more of that. Start to show the E. And continue. Actually, that line up pretty good. Okay, I think um, that leg has moved forward now, so we must start to show more of the letter. Or we can end it right there. Let's do no mask there, I think, if we walk through. All right, let's go one more frame. And 
select the mask, keyframe it, and bring it off the screen. And I think we'll have what we want. There we go. Anyway, let's watch it real quickly. And there she goes. She just walked right through it. You can also uh, have her walk through the building. Um, you can do all kinds of fun tricks with this technique. Now, with me demonstrating this, obviously it took five times as long. To just sit down and do that, uh, probably two minutes. Uh, it's really easy, really easy. And that's all I wanted to show you guys today. I, I hope that you like this new way to do it. It's just so much easier than the old way. And trust me, I've used the old way a lot. Uh, and I did promise to show you how I was going to fix this over here. It's pretty simple. Um, highlight this one. Get a mask going. Shrink it down. Oops. Get back on the mask. Shrink it down. And just get it out of the way. We're not masking anything over here. We're just showing the text. So that's kind of a fake mask. Just to poke through to the other side. Here we go. She goes right through the text, and we are done. I want to thank everybody for watching, and don't forget, there are other things you can do once you're in the in the tool and you're get doing the masking. Let's get back to a point of mask. Um, once you got the mask highlighted, uh, I would recommend using a little bit of blur, but it also depends on what you are masking. Um, I wanted to show you the blur strength, the left, and the right arrows will actually jump you back. Look down there. It'll jump you back a frame, move you forward a frame. Radius is, of course, just how big you want it. And the blur strength. And that is it. Play around with it. See what you can do. Learn the power of the new Filmora 12 keyframing. You can keyframe almost anything now. Super powerful. Think up something in your head. Sit down, spend a few minutes, and figure it out. It's just a lot easier these days. That's it. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you real soon on the next video.